Hello, it is good to have everybody today. Here we are here in Kentucky. It's a bright, sunny uh, afternoon. It's a warm day. Uh, I'm excited about it, uh, but I'm in the shop uh, wanting to, ready and wanting and ready and willing to turn with you guys and just have a little fun. You guys in the chat, you'll have uh, some fun uh, with my helpers today. I've got to uh, get over here and click the right button. There's Miss Ruby Claire and Mr. Wayne Clasper. Good, afternoon. good evening. Good evening, good. everyone. Good to have you guys with with me today. Uh, what we're going to do today, I'm going to put them in the background. They'll talk, uh, share your comments here in just a moment, um, read out any questions. But um, what we're going to work on, I've got a piece of uh, pear. I've already pulled uh, the bark off of this. It was already loose. Took me about, I don't know, 10 seconds to get all the bark off. It was that, that loose. Um, as you can see, there was a limb that came out in the side. And this is, uh, what I say, six by four, roughly. We're going to put this in here, the lathe, and, and we're going to do a little, try to do a hollow form. Um, it, it can always get messed up. You know how that is. Um, but we're going to start off with the idea this is going to be a hollow form. Uh, we'll do a little, uh, little texturing. And if we have time, do a little coloring as well. So as we're getting started here, one of you guys want to uh, read off uh, the participants in the in the chat? Do you want to do it, uh, Wayne? <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll Don't do it. Don't fight over it now. <laughs> well, we 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 always fight over it. You can tell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right. So on my list, the first in the night is uh, Andy Door Sixty. Uh, obviously, Doug's here. Ruby's here. Uh, Brian's here as well. Good evening, Brian. Uh, Malcolm Douglas is in, and Pete from Twisted Trees. Uh, Alex, um, Wurzel the bud, uh, Wood Butcher. Andy saying hello to everybody. Roger Wallum. Still going down the list. Lewis is in. Ward Wilson's in. Deal's in. Dotted Glen Cove. Still going down. Uh, Rex is in. Good evening, Rex. And Lucy's in as well. James Crawford. Evening, James. Paul Houghton. Chris Walters. Barry Chitty. Anthony Green. Oh, Robert Klingspo. Hey, Rob. Hey, Rob. Hey, Rob. Did you catch Roger Kent? No, I'm just getting there. Roger Kent. Uh, I think we're nearly at the bottom. Yep, that's us at the bottom now. If I did miss anybody, I apologize. Stick something in the chat and I'll get your name read out. Anyway, we're 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 glad you're all here to watch uh, Doug do his magic. <laughs> Not much magic to it, but it's it's always fun anyway. And Jennifer's just come in. Hey, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. I had the pleasure of meeting her and her husband at uh, in London at uh, a couple of years ago. Oh, is that at the um, Turner exhibition? Right. Yeah, it was um, it was really quite good. They had ornamental turners there, and they also had. Uh, Couple people there with pole lathes. Oh, excellent. Now, Deal is asking Is Doug having internet issues or is it on your com on my computer? Um, I, I certainly haven't, I haven't got any issues with what Doug's doing at the moment. Yeah, I think it's your computer. Uh, Doug's coming through fine for me as well. Yeah, everything I'm yeah. seeing looks good. I did just change the lights just now, but other than that, Everything looking good. Um, All right. Very well, thanks, Jennifer. Thanks for asking. We've got everything around. Let's let's get it ready to put a tenon on it and put a 
get it flipped around. So I'm going to straighten both ends, put a tenon on the tailstock end, and uh, we'll go from there. Ward, Ward thinks we need to get you a bigger roofing gouge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is so puny. You know, I just... <laughs> I, I, I did pick up a three-inch one. Oh, India. dear me. And um, I needed it. I was doing a piece that was uh, seven feet long and 20 some inches in diameter. My word. And uh, it took took us 12 hours to uh, turn that piece down. Mm. We, we, we made a, an extended uh, tool rest out of some two inch bar that we right across to uh, tool rest. I'm, I know this light's going to bleach it out, but I need it for this other end back here. It's dark. As as so Rex this, is I'll asking you, out. Ruby. Rex is asking you if you're going to be at Harrogate. Uh, unfortunately, Rex, I, I'd like to be, but I won't be able to be. Uh, about the time they're having Harrogate, I'll be getting ready to do some demonstrations up Toronto way. One, of these, Lucy, one of these years I'll get over. Lucy has just ordered on the beading tool for a wedding anniversary present, as it's their steel anniversary on Friday. Well, that's, nice. an, that's an intelligent gift. Absolutely. I've got to ask Lucy, is it the easy wood tool, beading tool? I was just thinking that. I've been, I've been nice using one. mine, and I have to say that it, it really works like a treat. Oh, it does. All right. I've got the tenon set, ready to go. All I got to do is get my tail rest out of the way. Tail rest, tail stock. Now, Rob says he just spent two days in the workshop sorting everything out for the Harrogate show. Only two days, Rob. You can't be doing much. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's like getting ready for my demos coming up. Uh, I've got to take some seats out of my van and vacuum and clean it and then start slowly loading it. And I've already made a list of everything I need from tools to wood to whatever for it. Fortunately, these shows, I don't have to take a late this time around. Oh, that's good. And Andy's come in, Andy the Valley Wood Turner, and he hey, says, Andy. good evening. Good evening, and it's 11 years of torture. Oh. <laughs> don't believe that for a minute, Andy. No, I don't either. Uh, Jason Leverum's just come in. Hi, Jason. All right. That's a pretty piece of spalting. It does have some nice spalting in it. This tree was was alive when we cut it down uh, just over a year ago. Uh, maybe closer to a year and a half ago, maybe. Um, it was standing alive, but there were portions of it that um, were not good and solid. Um, so when it came down, it was not a huge surprise. Uh, it was hated by the owners that it came down. But it has sat outside and has picked up some spalting along the way. and. Um, it's quite nice. Cuts nice. And it looks nice. I, I've turned several pieces out of it that I've really, really enjoyed. Now, Lucy just pointed out that they've actually been together for 18 years, so I guess seven of them were pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, they're, you're right. They're youngsters at 18 years. We, Wayne and I and you have probably been uh, married longer than since before they were even born. 
Yeah, I've got, uh, we just celebrated 43 years. Yeah, uh, we're celebrating 43 in October. Are you doing anything special? I'll probably be in the workshop. <laughs> I think we slept in for about an extra hour. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Alan Gibbs just come in. Hey, Alan. Um, uh, Lucy's saying to, to Lewis that she's his second wife. <laughs> Lewis has replied, some guys never learn. And Andy replied, Wayne, that's torture for Lucy having to live with him. I don't believe that for a minute, Andy. And Rex says he just learned a new wood for him, birch flame. Have any of you turned it? Or I've it like? never turned it. No, I've Sorry, never turned what it. What was it? Birch flame. Birch flame. No flame. <laughs> Oh, flame, flame, flame. I'm yeah. sorry. Totally yeah. misunderstood. Birch, Birch flame. is a beautiful wood to turn. Um, that, whether they're referring to it as having like quilting or whatever, I don't know. Not too sure. But I know I enjoy turning birch. Yeah, I think the, the nicest birch I've turned is Missouri birch. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Lucy said she started going gray just after she met Andy. <laughs> and Old Man River said that uh, he was 54 before he got married. And Barry celebrated 52 years in June. Congratulations, Barry. Barry. Excellent. And Chris at Billy Woodworks has just come in. Hey, Hi, Chris. Chris. And Chris Mike been... dances with Aardvox. So just hey, Mike. Well. I was about to say, Chris has been very prolific putting out a bunch of shorts here lately. Um, did we welcome Alan Gibb earlier? We yes, did. I did. I did, yes. Yes. It is good to have everybody in today. It's a lot of things you could be doing and you've chosen to come in be with us and i appreciate it and alex the wood butcher says he's on four years next month but met his now wife 45 years ago ah probably when they were kids in school let's say Well, it's good, good to be here, Doug, because it's it's sunny outside, and I don't know if I could take weather like that. I, I know, keep, I know. I keep, I, keep hoping, <laughs> I keep hoping for snow. Oh, don't even think about it just yet. It'll get here I, soon enough. Well, I was thinking about it as soon as the temperatures here got in the 90s. Mm, mm, mm. I don't know. I, we haven't had a lot of snow in recent years, and I'm kind of dreading we may get some this year. Just saw an article last night about cutting into a persimmon and getting the seed, cutting the seed in half. Depending on whether you see a fork, a knife, or a spoon, it predicts the snowfall for the winter. Right. Yeah. I've heard we're going to have an early snow. You think? Yeah. Rex That's very said, possible. Rex says that he and his wife just passed 43 years, and he's on his last five treatments, which end on the 26th. And he thanks you for doing these wood turning videos, uh, that he's truly grateful for them. And we're, we're glad that they were able to help you out, Rex. Absolutely. Somebody Come to get the, the dog. dog. <laughs> just a easy wood tool, just to smooth out that that uh, 
that line across there real quick. I'm going to get this in. Alan, gonna... Alan Gibber said, um, here in Scotland, we are having lots of wind and rain, and it's horrible. Oh, my. Yeah, I'll agree with that. Got wind and rain at your place, Wayne? Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Not as bad as uh, some other areas, but uh, yeah, we certainly have, and it's due to be the same tomorrow as well. It's not flooding kind of rain, is it? Well, we did get a flood warning this morning. Oh. Um, whether that comes to rain, then we'll just have to wait and see. Right, right. Yeah, I, I have to apologize for all the barking and the noise, guys. No problem. When, whenever my do my neighbor's dogs are left alone, they end up at my place, and uh, they, they <laughs> just come looking for them. Uh huh. I'm the neighborhood dog sitter. There you go. <laughs> Let's give this a quick sand up here. I am going to turn the vacuum on. Yeah, Lucy said that uh, parts of Devon have been flooded. In fact, I meant to message Mark about that and forgot. Well, I hope you don't get flooded out again, Wayne. Well, yeah, so do I. Jason says that in Louisiana they've dodged hurricanes. And the state's on fire like it has never been in all the years that he can remember. Hmm. Of course, the fall is hurricane season throughout the southern states. Yes, it is. I remember one time being down on the islands when we were filming. It was Hurricane David that had come through and... Uh, my boss decided that we should be in the ocean during the hurricane so we could film what was happening to the coral reef with the uh, hurricane. Mm, mm, mm. And where normally I would have wore like 12 pounds of uh, weights to keep me down, I think I was wearing close to 40. And that was quite an experience. There were uh, huge corals just uprooted and rolling along like tumbleweed. Getting out was another experience too. Oh, I bet. Well, the w one bad thing was the man some of the manzanita trees were blown down. Yeah. And uh, if you touch those, the uh, sap from them is, um, it'll burn your skin. Hmm. And like when the locals cut the trees down to get them out of the way, they can't burn the wood because the toxin would be in the uh, smoke. And if you oh. got it in your lungs or your eyes, um, it would be with horrible results. I wonder how people get on with turning that. Because there's quite a lot of people turn manzanita root. Yeah, it was um, quite it's interesting. Great, it's a great wood to turn. I've turned some of it. Um, it does I've, move an awful lot. Yeah, I've turned it, and it, it's a beautiful wood to turn. Um, yeah, I guess it's just when it's green and uh, wet. All right, okay. So Lucy's asking me if I live really close to a river. Well, the river's about a mile and a half away, but we live in a valley, and we've got um, two burns, one burn across the field out the back and another burn over the road and down the field over that side. But it's a, it's a mixture of stuff that causes the, the flooding here. Alex says that if he gets flooded, there's a lot of people in his village who will need a submarine. All right, I've got a- right, well, we've let's... got- We've got um, Rich Bolduck has just come in, and Ben Jammons just come in as well. Hey, guys. Hi, Ben. Hi, Rich. All right. I've lost all my burning utensils. Where are they? I've got a set if you want to borrow one. <laughs> well, well, that's crazy. 
I've got a burn wire with handles on it. I've got <laughs> Formica, and I can't find any of it. Oh, there's my Formica. I did something silly. I hung it up on the wall. Why would I do that? Uh, your problem is you've been hanging around too long with me. <laughs> I had a young fellow over last week, and he decided my shop needed revamped. Now I can't find anything. Hmm. Isn't that the way it goes? Even if I straighten it up myself, I can't find anything. Okay. We've turned the outside. It's been sanded to 320. I've cut and burned two boundary lines. We're going to take a... Here we go. This is a cuts all burr. One of okay. the... Uh, um, well, it doesn't say what it's made of. It's just a cuts all burr, and it does. They do a fine job. So, um, because this Dremel makes a lot of noise, I'm going to mute myself while I do this. So you guys carry on. Yeah, I think that those cuts all burrs there are um, little strands of garbage. That may yeah. be right. They work really well. They do. I was saying to Doug earlier, I think before you came on, uh, we had watched a demonstration by Rebecca DeGroote, and she had a really nifty stand for her. Uh, oh, yeah, that was on the Wood Turner 360. Right. Well, I made wood. one, and I extended yeah, so. it out so that one end takes uh, a Dremel and the other end has my Fordham. Yeah, I think I saw the photograph. Okay, yeah, I did send it to you as well. Yeah. And, uh, I'll tell you, it certainly took a lot of things that were scattered all over the shop and put them in one place. Makes a difference. But I haven't tried any of her walking mushrooms yet. No, there, there was a discussion on the um would turn in 360 last night um on how the the demonstration went and has anybody tried it i certainly haven't tried it yet oh i didn't know we had a meeting last night yeah but the email went out on sunday oh richard phelan's joined us good evening richard good evening, richard Oh, I'm sorry I missed that. Yeah, it was good. Uh, Martin talked about his trip to the States, going to Waco, going to Rebecca's place, and then he went up to Montana and found the aeroplane that his um, granddad used to fly back in the late 40s. Okay. Was there a demo? How would you mean a demo? Uh, last night. No, there was no demo last night. It was just a uh, just a catch up chat about uh, Rebecca's demo. Okay. Yeah, her demo was well done. It was. She is very good. She's going to be on the food channel just shortly. Okay. Um, carving um, pumpkins. Pumpkins. That's it. Yep. Thanks, Ben. He says the meetings get recorded and saved to Facebook. All right. Let's see. I'm just debating on what to do now. Um, I'll probably. Well, let's throw a little tape on there. We'll do some tape and then we'll put a little black on it. Now, you made those little uh, divots. Kind of in, in two rows. Was yes. That a... Yes, offset from each other. They, okay. They zigzag back and forth around it. Um, that burr, for the space that I gave myself, that burr was just a, a touch big. And so uh, that, that pretty well fills that gap. 
before anybody says anything, I know this is the wrong direction on this tape. I'll be going the other way, but this is not a Mike Walt demonstration. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. He's never going to live that down. And then why should he, no. right? Of course, he brings it on himself. He he loves it. He loves it. Oh, Susie's in. Evening, Susie. All right. Just because I know it's the right way to right thing to do, we'll go around the other way. Hi, Susie. I'm not ignoring you, dear. I'm just trying to get wrapped around here so we can continue on. You're all wrapped up in your work, is what you're saying. Pretty much. Pretty much. That's okay. We'll forgive you. I appreciate that. Oh, me was working on getting uh, the tenon off of my Chinese bowl lid yesterday. And uh, that was when I found out my, my big bowl lathe has, is not cooperating at the moment. Um, I had all kind of issues with it. And if I have any more, poor thing's going to get redone completely. Um, that lid is just not cooperating oh for a minute i thought you meant the lathe was going to get redone well <laughs> the lathe will but eventually but that lid that was kind of what made the whole piece was the lid and the lid is just i was taking the tenon off and that's when the lathe decided to goof up and i brought it over here to this lathe and it's just one mess after another okay where am i after I'm after this. Okay, Wivy Woodshed's just come in. Hey, and Mike Evans. Mike Evans has just come in. He's, thanks, Ruby. Hello, um, Mike. Uh, Mike, Doug's making a textured piece. Now he's going to add some color and uh, do it up fancy for us. Although technically black's not a color. That's right. <laughs> black is the absor absorption of all color, isn't it? Correct. And it's white like is white. the reflection of all color. Yep. I remember that. <laughs> and Mike has said, if I manage to finish this door decahedral box, I'm taking the week off will turn. <laughs> mm. Mm. It's looking good so far, Mike. I haven't seen it yet, so I look forward to it. I've turned dodecahedrals and then put stars inside them. Uh, is Doug, for a minute, I thought you'd frozen there, Doug. No, I was just spraying a little water through that gun to go ahead and clean it out. If I don't, I'll forget, and it gets gummy. Um, that water-based dye is not too bad, but it will get gummy if there's much of a deposit left in it. I'm going to turn this down just a little and turn it on and blow just a little bit of, what am I going to do? Blow a little air on it. Don't need a hot air, but I can make this just air. Yeah, later on, if I were you, I'd take the needle right out of the gun and clean it. Yes, yes. Yeah, I have to do that every once in a while, but especially if I don't rinse it immediately. Like right. rinsing it right now, like I did, the bottom of that cup is as shiny as a mirror. Um, so it's, it's not too bad. If I leave it... If I leave it for any time, it will gum up um, in the bottom of that cup. And I know when it does that, the needle's got to be pulled and cleaned off as well. Yeah. All right. And the uh, nozzle on the front end. Yes. Yes. The nozzle will pull it up too. 
surely will. All right. Just because I'm a I'm that kind of guy, I want to use some, what's he call that? It's the Hampshire Sheen Embellishing Electric Blue, Electric Blue. But it reminds me of my Kentucky Wildcats. <laughs> Who, by the way, are having a really good football season already. They're three and zero. Oh. Well, that's not bad. Absolutely not. Yeah, you know, we're just three weeks in, but they've won all three of their games already. Um, Excellent. Kentucky is not known to be a football school, but this year we're we've got one of the best teams we've ever had. Well, best teams we've had in a long, long time. I'll say it that way. Kentucky did win the national championships many, many, many years ago, back when Adolph Rupp was the, not Adolph Rupp. Uh, uh-huh. Um, well, University of Alabama's Bear Bryant. He was the coach at Alabama or at Kentucky for several years and left. Um, just because <laughs> he had good reason to understand. Uh, but anyway, that's neither here nor there. It's, ben wants to know if you eat fried chicken with vegetables and mashed potato. Vegetables, yes. Mashed potatoes, no. I don't eat starches. That's how you keep your slim, trim, good-looking figure. That's how I lost over 30 pounds. <laughs> I don't eat carbs or very little. I do eat some, but not many. Um, when I had my stroke about five years ago, that's the big thing the doctors kept saying. If you'll lose some weight, about two thirds of your health issues will go away. Well, they did. After walking anywhere from four to eight miles every single day and cutting out the carbohydrates. Now this would be better if I would let that sit just a little bit for that wax to, this wax hardens up, doesn't it, Wayne? It does. Dry, dries up, so to speak. Yeah. Uh, this is gonna be fine. I'm getting, wiping it off of the, or buffing it off of the high spots and it's gonna sit in the low Yeah, it'll dry off once all, the, um, once all the solvents have evaporated. Yeah, yeah. That's that's pretty good. It's down in the divots that I did, and not so much in the uh, on the top part. So that's what we're after. I'm gonna leave my tape on there for a bit while we work on this hollowing. Rex wants to know how did you turn and walk four miles at the same time? Um, you yeah. get a, you get you get a very long lead and walk from one end to the other. <laughs> and then you walk around it and around it. And around, and around it, around it, yeah. No, uh, at the time, my son was in in a marching band, and while they were practicing, I would go down there and walk through that neighborhood. Uh, if it was a day that they were not practicing or if I didn't have time to go down there for that, I've got a, oh, a 5K loop around my neighborhood that I, that I walked a, a good bit. Um, that helped. Sometimes I'd walk that twice if I felt like I needed the extra distance i'm gonna turn that speed down to well there's 415 that's close enough i'm gonna run a drill bit into there just to get me started that's got a little place on it i've got to get off of there first you want to change camera rex at uh, rex doug rex <laughs> yeah i will i will By the time we're done, you'll have many new names. Why, well, sure. <laughs> I've been called many things over the years. Just don't call me late for supper, and we're in good shape. You and me both. I'm just, I'm just doing a divot in the front end of this piece so that my, my drill bit has a place to go and doesn't fight me. Now, you might want now. to get the camera. Yep. Make sure we're, yeah, we're good shape there. Bring that 
up and over just a little bit. I've heard of a time or two uh, folks complaining that the uh, chat was covering up the picture. I've had that issue myself. When I watch on television, um, the chat is over on the right-hand side. And if the action is over on the right-hand side, it's hard to see. Just looking to see how deep I want to go. Um, so I'm conscious of that. Try to keep it from being an issue. Todd says he stopped by the original Kentucky Fried Chicken in Corbin, Kentucky. Yeah. Believe it or not, that's someplace I have never gone. I, I go through Corbin fairly often, or used to anyway, and uh, haven't been there. Well, I was down there three or four weeks ago. I was in, went through Corbin. Um, but my wife is usually with me, and she does. she has no interest in stopping at the original KFC. I want to go there. I don't know why. I just do. Roy's the boy has joined us. Hey, Roy. What have you bought for five pounds today? Something good, I imagine. All right. If I'm going to hollow, I've got to take this tailstock off. Luckily, it's an easy task. It's just heavy. Now, not as heavy as some tailstocks, though. Wolf Van River says that uh, his back and joints won't let him walk that far, but he does walk the Westies every day. There you go. I get my exercise walking Maggie when uh, the neighbors abandon her here. <laughs> She lets me know when she has to go out or if something's on the street she needs to check out. Right. <laughs> right this is not going to take and a half Jewish, a second. Jewish sheds come in as well. Hey, Dewey. This is not going to take half a second till this bowl gouge is not going to be the right tool. Bailey Woodwork said, did you know the KFC only follows six guys named Herb and five of the original Spice Girls on their Twitter account? <laughs> so that's 11 herbs and spices. <laughs> that was well done. It was interesting here recently. Um, well, it was in several years ago. His uh Colonel Sanders, Harlan Sanders' wife, opened up a um, restaurant in Shelbyville, uh, Kentucky. Uh, very good restaurant. Served their food family style. And uh, it had a fire. Shut them down for quite a while. And uh, But they reopened. And then it has been just a, not too awful long ago. They sold the restaurant. And so it's out of the family totally. And somebody just told me recently they closed the restaurant totally. So that's quite the shame. So the Sanders family doesn't own any part of KFC any longer. We are using the number one hollower here, and it does just a phenomenal job of the hollowing task. Yeah, they work very well for that. Yeah, this is the, the mid-size. Um, I thought about calling Lexington and getting myself a, either the full size or the, the pro. I'm already in there that far, inch and a half, two inches. It doesn't take long. I thought the pro was the full size. Well, there's there's the like um, there's the mini, the medium. This this is the well, I can't get it in picture. That's the full size rougher. And there's one bigger, the pro size. 
oh. right? Because I've got I've got the the medium number one Holloway and the pro number one Holloway. Right, right. There should be one in between. All right. I tend to like longer handles than my tools. Carson Pedersen's just come in. Hey, Carson. Hi, Carson. You can, if you're not paying attention what you're doing, you can go through the bottom or the side of a piece real quick. I wouldn't know how that, how I know that, but. Uh, That's why it surprises me you're not <clears throat> measuring more often. Um, the, because, because that cutter is small as well, it, uh, it's a hungry beast. It eats a lot of wood very quickly. Yeah. It wants to grow into one of those bigger ones. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm now up that deep, almost three. Well, about is it three inches. Almost. I'm almost at three inches already. It goes deep quick. All right, I've got a little ways to go before I get to the bottom, though. What did I say that was? Uh, about three and three quarter inches deep is where I want to end up on the inside. You don't put a mark on your tool or anything? Not usually. Um, I'm Ruby, I feel for the where I drilled that pilot hole. I'm feeling for it when I go in, um, and as long as I'm still feeling it, when I quit feeling it, I'll start checking a little more closely. Okay. Which, believe it or not, I'm pretty close to it now. No, Ben. Mm. Ben says buttering bread is equal to cooking. I can't agree with that. <laughs> cooking involves a heat source. Yeah. I've, I've cleaned out my hole. I've got a little high spot in the very bottom of that. I do want to reach around and get just a little more of that bottom cleaned out as well as take that that dimple or pimple out of the bottom. Kind of feeling for that place and, and going up and down on it. Because it is as small as it is, I don't want to put my finger all the way in there to the bottom while it's spinning anyway. I was going to say not while it's spinning for sure. Yeah, not while it's spinning. When it stopped, it's no big deal. But yeah, yeah while it's spinning. The red coloring that you put all over everything would ruin the effect. It's not as good as the intrinsic color stain, is it? Or dye? Mm -hmm. Not no, nearly as pretty. It turns brown over time. Yeah, I'll lower my tool rest just a hair. I'm gonna take the 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 finisher, which is much larger. In fact, let me show you that side by side, and you can really get a understanding. The small one is what I was just using. The larger one is the easy finisher, much larger. Smooths out some of the ridges that get left. As I was checking around in there, it's it's fairly smooth now, but this will smooth it up even better.
kind of feeling for lumps and bumps. Get that center out of there. Oh, I think we're there. I think so, we're there. So what are you going to store inside this? Air? Dust? <laughs> oh man, that easy finisher just really makes a difference on on the how that that bottom cleans up or the whole the whole thing takes yeah. all those ridges out. I'm gonna slow the lathe back down again. I am gonna sand. Uh, not a real extensive sanding, but just what I can get to right here in the opening. Did I lose you for a second? No, nope, we're still nope. here. Okay. This, the sound is went different. Hmm. Ward Wilson and Ben seem to think that buttering toast now qualifies as cooking. I I think I'm going to pass on having dinner at either of their places. That um, sounds like a plan. That may be husband cooking in in some places. Uh, since I don't eat bread, <laughs> I couldn't do that. The butter is fine. It's the bread I can't eat. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, especially if it takes some thirty minutes to spread butter. <laughs> oh goodness! Here we let's go back to telling our age again. I can remember <laughs> growing up as a kid when uh, trying to spread b butter on bread or toast. Either one was a major challenge. It was so hard, couldn't hardly spread it. So when well, mom started bringing the butter home in a tub. That was so much nicer. <laughs> yeah, and the butter was always kept in the fridge. You oh, never yeah, left yeah. It on the counter. Even though butter doesn't need to be refrigerated, you're exactly right. We always kept the butter on in the fridge. All right, I want to thin this out just a hair right here. It's just a little thick for my liking. So we'll do that with the finisher. <clears throat> just a good tool to eat well. Shouldn't have raised my tool rest up. I'm going to turn it up on edge. Just, you can see with my hand, I'm just turning it up just a little bit. Give you more of a shear cut. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need a, I don't need the aggressiveness of it being flat. Jason has some advice for you. He says some of the uh, low carb breads aren't bad. Also, the carb smart tortillas are a good substitute. Yes, yes. Uh, there are some good substitutes out there. They're becoming more and more popular and they're getting better in quality. Um, I've noticed uh, when you go, if you go on a diet, don't necessarily look for the sugars and the fats, look at the carbs. Um, but a lot of times if they say light on it, what they've done is taken out some of the fats and they've replaced it with carbohydrates, which your body sees as sugar. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. So yeah, it's the, some of the so-called light foods are re really worse for you as if you're trying to, be weight conscious at all um but anyway that's that's i think i said in my description we might talk about some off-topic things we are off topic <laughs> now you are going to put a lid on this with a finial i wasn't planning to i may come back and do that at a later date um That might make an interesting piece. You know, and here we have Wayne sitting here as an earworm who makes some of the best Casparelli pizzas there are. <laughs> the only Casparelli pizzas. <laughs> no, Casparoni. Casparoni, yes. I was making it a name. Come on. 
<laughs> I was making you Italian. <laughs> Let's... Uh, Ward is asking if anyone knows how to get rid of the heart in the chat as it covers up some of the words and letters of the last chat. Oh, um, no. I know it's being on Stream Deck in the in your part of the program that I don't have that heart for a change, but yeah, I do no, agree I've, it's, it's annoying. I've, I've got the, the YouTube chat popped out, so I'm watching on StreamYard with the YouTube chat beside me and the heart doesn't come up. Right. Yeah, it's only in YouTube and uh, when you're watching the chat directly there in YouTube. I don't think you can move it. It's, it's unfortunate. Yeah. That's one reason. That's what I was saying a while ago. I'm trying to keep my, my work to this side. Yeah. We need the upper, the upper view now so we can see what the turquoise looks like. Mm-hmm. Or the blue, electric blue. Yes. Bum, bum, bum. Oh, that's pops. Yes, yes. Does. I was about to Jay, change it over. Jason, Jason has pointed out for your benefit that uh, what, what is carb free? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It does get caught in your teeth, though. Yes, it does. All right, I've got to come back. My black bled under my tape. So that's not a problem either. That's the fun part. We can fix those kinds of things. And can Tim Wonder one has joined us. Hi, Tim. Hi, Tim. Tim, good to see you. Just cleaning that up with my bowl gouge. Trying to get right at the line that we burned in and coming out. Just enough to take a take that bleed out away, and still got just a touch. Who was it? Uh, Paul Finley had some bleed out yesterday in his video. Uh, took him a little while to get it, but it he got it. There's, some overspray here at the top as well. In fact, that's we'll get that with sanding. We'll re-sand that. I'm surprised you got anything with the burn line. Well, it wasn't. It didn't bleed through the burn line. I don't think. I think it was the tape. Um, because of the smaller diameter, and I was wrapping the tape uh, rather hurriedly. <laughs> um, I think it just went underneath the tape. We'll very carefully sand that little section above the color as well and all the neck. Below the color is fine. It was just above the color. But a second time through the sanding grits doesn't hurt anything. What do you normally sand up to? Uh, 320. Really don't need to if if I'm using abrasive paste. Uh, uh, Wayne has taught that over the years. 240 is really as high as you need to go. But uh, I don't know. I've just always gone to 320, and it just it just feels better to me. But that's a whole lot less sanding than I used to do. I used to go. Uh, I would sand up to a thousand grit. Hmm. And sometimes wet sand, I would wet sand raw wood. And I would have on pins and some other things, even some small bowls, I could get a, a pretty glossy finish without any finish being on the wood. Just by going to a thousand grit. Andrew has just joined us. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. Andrew as an AGK? Yes. Yep. That's not Andrew. That's precious. My precious. You're too late, buddy. I've already used my precious. Right. Andrew is going to be guest on uh, Dremel Live on Sunday night. I saw that earlier. That's that's 
That's a neat one. That's cool. Can you tell us a little more about Dremel Life? Right. It's it's basically a podcast, Ruby. Um, Kez and Phil, um, Spirit and Bear, they, they host it along with Andy, who is one of the managers at Dremel UK, and um, oh uh, Peachtree Woodcrafting as well. Um, I've got his first name now. And basically what they're doing is they talk about Dremel stuff. They have different guests on. Um, and it, it lasts around about an hour just having a, a chat about Dremel stuff. There's usually a, um, they put out a, a bingo card. So you can join in with a bingo card and the first person that uh, gets it uh, basically gets a prize from Dremel. Hmm. Sounds good. Just changing the, the curve the slightly here so that I can get a foot underneath this, this little piece. It just felt like it needed a foot. Yeah, the, the people who come on as guests and the, the people who sort of run the show are all either work for Dremel or are um, sponsored by Dremel. Okay. Kez has, I guess she's been a one of their biggest uh, supporters for she's been supported by them for as long as anybody if not longer hadn't she yeah she does good work with, with, with her dremels i've been with them for a year now yeah and just had my contract renewed excellent All right, we've got that sanded. Let's get it parted off. Let's get it parted off. This Bradford pear, if you're not familiar with it, is very, it's a very dense grained wood. Um, turns very, very nicely. Turns similar to cherry. Yeah. But it's a, it's an import into the United States from China, like so many things. Um, as it was imported as an ornamental tree, and the silly thing has proliferated to the point where, in most states, it's considered a, a weed. invasive species. Yeah, uh, here in Kentucky, I don't think they've actually done anything official yet. But there is strong talk about not being able to purchase Bradford pear trees in Kentucky any longer. Hmm. Yeah, because it, it doesn't bear fruit either, does it? No, 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 no. It's it's an invasive species and prolificates all on its own. As you drive along the interstate highways, there in the spring you see all these white flowers. They're simply everywhere. Hmm. And they, they're not sturdy trees. They break in in a little easy windstorm. Well, then that's not a good region to have them grow in. Exactly. Or it's a good reason not to have them grow in. Let me see. Let me switch cameras here. You'll be able to see a little better if I go to that camera. There you go. There we go. Very nice. This will get uh, a little, little wax put on it. But that's, other than that, it's done. Got to clean off the end i'll i'll clean off that little nub i'll put my sign on there my maker's mark and uh, that's it that'll go to market here in just a few days good so there you have it just a little hollow little hollow form kind of a native american uh, uh inspired kind of a design well if i use two hands i can get that word straight there we go that's it I don't know why doing that one-handed is so difficult for me, but it is. <laughs> and, and and as Ruby pointed out, that was not raise my face shield. It's burning me up. Um, those weren't measured out or anything. That was just kind of not exactly random. It's two rows. I was just zigzagging my way around, and they came out pretty good. I know where it ran out, um, but you would probably, without spending a lot of time, you'd probably have a hard time 
finding it. I, I see it already. <laughs> it's very easy for me because I, I did it. But it does have a nice little bit of spalting right there. This wood spalts beautifully when it when it goes to spalting. If this piece had stayed outside for another two or three weeks, it would have been like this all over. But that little bit of sanding, that is just as smooth as it can be. Little sanding sealer, a um, little bit of uh, wax, and, and it'll be set to go. Excellent. Some nice comments coming through, Doug. Any any questions we have? Y'all probably got them all. Thank you, everybody. I appreciate all those comments. Do let me, um, well, a couple of things. One, uh, uh, I asked Wayne earlier. He is going to have a live tomorrow, so be ready for that. Be watching for it. Don't have a link yet. That's okay. I didn't have this link up until yesterday afternoon, and then Ruby had to point out I had a mistake on it. Uh, I'm glad you pointed it out, Ruby. I'd, I'd have been uh, embarrassed. Well, I, uh, I didn't know which day I was supposed to be here. Yeah, exactly. Well, and then on top of that, when I looked at it a second time, it had the wrong time. Uh, it was showing 12 noon for some reason. Um, <laughs> anyway, I got it fixed. We're all good. Um, everybody. Well, I, I, I just had a notice from a club in London that I'm supposed to go to a meeting of and I, from between their newsletter and the notice that came out, I don't know if the meeting is tonight, Thursday, or last week. <laughs> <laughs> I, somehow I understand that. I understand. Oh, um, let's see that. Um, I did want to say thanks to everybody for coming in. I'm going to bring everybody back into the screen here. Um, yeah, Robert Copperell is just come in as well. Hey, Rob. There we go. Um, and, and one other thing, I looked on my uh, uh, statistics just before we came on, and uh, I'm 17 shy of a thousand. Uh, if y'all would share this video out, um, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, I don't know when getting to that thousand mark caught my attention, but it has, and um, I don't know. I'd, I'd like to get there someday soon. So if, if y'all could help me out just by simply uh, uh, if you hit if you click on the the thumbs up button on your way out, leave a comment down in the comment section. And if you so desire, share this out on your social media. That will help. Those three things will help me more than anything else you could do uh, at this point. So I do appreciate it. Wayne, you, you got uh, tomorrow night. Anything else special coming up this week? Um, this week, well. Andrew will have a premiere out t tomorrow night. Yeah. Uh, uh, after my live. Um, I don't know where else is happening this week. It'll be sad. To oh, Steve will be on on Friday night. Yeah. Um, Saturday morning cartoons. You started to mention Saturday that. Saturday morning cartoons. Yeah. That'll be on um, UK time is uh, four o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I think that is six hours. 10, yeah, 10 o'clock Central, I think that central. is. Yes, 11 yeah. Eastern, 10 Central, yes. Um, World Wide Wood Turn is on tomorrow night. Wednesday oh, night, yes, yes, that's on tomorrow night. That's uh, that, that's usually seven, a bit late for me. Yeah, 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 o'clock Eastern, or Central Time. Yeah, which, which I is think is awfully late 12, for you guys. Yeah, right. 12, 12 midnight UK time. Yeah, yep. What about you, Ruby? You got anything? No, I'm just still straightening out things here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get all this this uh, apple and uh, apricot that I was given roughed out be be yeah. before it goes bad. Yeah, and uh, the apricot, I would imagine, goes bad quicker than the apple does. Actually, any fruit would t has a yeah. tendency to crack and split while you're yeah. watching. Right, right. They'll all do it for sure. Well, thank you all so much. It's been a good day. Uh, I'm going to cut out of here, let you all get back to your day busy, busy daily lives or evenings. And uh, until we meet again, hope you're able to spin around. Bye-bye. Night, everybody. Night.